when I first got the insurance business, my goal was to make, was, was honestly, my goal was, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm in college, I'm, in, I'm, I'm playing basketball. My goal at an early age was I wanted to be a millionaire by the age of 30. Can they say that all right? Yeah. Man, I love this new board because normally I would never better write that small previously. Millionaire by the age of 30. That was a private goal for me. Most people didn't know that. I didn't share that a lot, so I'm sharing with you on Facebook and YouTube. If you want to share your goals right now in comments below on Facebook and YouTube, I'm going to read them, and I'd love to read your goals. That was my goal. Past tense was. I checked that one off the bucket list. Here's what I used to think. Because when I used to think, okay, Cody, how do you become a millionaire by the age of 30 in the insurance business? I didn't want to go outside the insurance business. I want to stay inside the insurance business. I love it. My father's been in the business. My father started in this business literally three months before I was born. He's been in the business 28, I'm, I'm, I'm 28 years and seven months, right? He's been in the insurance business 28 years and 10 months. That's crazy. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be. I don't want to leave this business. I want to be a part of this business. So that's why. Okay. So so I, so I say. Okay. Here's what I thought. The things that I. Here's what I thought you had to do to be a millionaire, in the insurance business. All right. I thought you had to. I thought you had to do one of these three things. And actually, and I think that you have a better chance of being successful in the insurance business at the stuff I'm going to share with you later than this stuff I used to think. I used to think you had to be a financial advisor. Gosh, was I freaking wrong. I mean, I was like 19, 20, 21 years old. I thought that, right? I just thought that. I also thought that you had to like, you know, own or be the CEO for a insurance company. And when I say insurance company, I'm talking about like an actual carrier that sells, that, 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 that obviously has a product to sell, right? Or I thought that you had to like, I thought you had to like, I would say I probably thought that you had to like own a call center after like dozens and, you know, just. 20, 30 years. Like I thought you just had to grind it out. Like I never thought you could be a seven figure earner selling Medicare. You can. I never thought you could be a seven figure earner by going and selling life insurance in the field. You can. I never thought you could be a seven figure earner by, you know, selling over the phone with just, your, just yourself or even with a small team. You can. Um, like if I had a goal for 12 months to be like, hey, I'm going to write seven figures of premium over the phone by myself. I could do it. Uh, I also used to, I, 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 you know what I mean? Like you start talking about these things. This is what I thought. And it couldn't be further from the truth, but I, I didn't know. Like you don't know what you don't know. When you guys are like, hey, I don't know that I'm going to get value from this call to close live training. You don't know what you don't know. I can promise you you're going to get value. And there's things that I'm going to touch on that you don't know that are worth $97 to know. Right? So that's what I thought. That's like, okay, that's what I thought. When I talk about being, but when I talk about making seven figures by the age of 30, those are the things that I like thought I had to do. I just, I didn't know any better. Like, and this one, this one I didn't think till later. Like this one was, this one wasn't any, like early on, these were the things that I just thought. And I'm, I mean, yeah, maybe you can, but you don't have to. Like, I don't want to be a financial advisor. I don't want to, you know, be the CEO of an insurance company or own my own, I mean, like, like, I mean, maybe I do want to own an insurance company. You know what I mean? Maybe I want to start my own one day. Who knows? But like, you can make seven figures without having to do those things. So this is what I thought. I will also want to break down the numbers because you guys know I'm huge on numbers, right? And I'm going to get it to the penny. I'm going to even use a cal. I, I can come up with the numbers on my own, but I'm going to use a calculator because I want to get down to the penny. All right. So. A million bucks, right? Like, and, and this is the stuff that most people in our industry aren't talking about. Dude, if you, you want to get there, you got to know. If you want to get there, you have to know. That's $83,333.50. Okay, 
and 33 cents. This was for this was for the year. This was for the month, right? That's about a quarter of a mil, a quarter. We can go ahead and put that up because you know. But surely you guys can, you know. It's surely you guys can go ahead and do the math. 500k over six months. It's 250,000 per quarter, and it's 83,333 dollars and 33 cents per month. So over 12 months, okay? You say, okay, well, let's break it down even further. If you take, and you could make it a fourth of this, but then you're only taking into account 48 weeks, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take into account 52 weeks. Because some of these things you would work, you would just always be working. Like, because you may have a team. So let's do 52 weeks just for the fun of it. I'm doing this, I'm doing this on purpose. So if, if you divide it by this, divided by 52 weeks, here's what you get. $19,230.76. That's per week. I got your attention now though. I know I do. I know a lot of agents that have made 19K in a week. And if that seems foreign to you, then you need to know more. You need to dive in more. You need to be more confident. You need to be more confident in your ability and you need to know the things that, because you don't know what you don't know. That's why we love doing this stuff because we want you to know. You have to know to be able to be a solid, solid insurance agent. So now that we broke down the numbers, I want to start to ask you, because I believe everyone should make six figures. I believe everyone should be able to eventually make seven figures in this industry. And I think it's all about following the right formula. So you say, okay, Cody, let's mention some normal, like, like can, let, let's mention some normal ways that you could make, here's what I think now, right? Here's what I thought when it come down to like, you know what I mean, ma making seven figures, I didn't even know this early on. So I'm, I mean like, I just thought you had to be a financial advisor or be a, like a CEO or something. I didn't, I didn't know I was 19. Here's what I, here's what I don't think now. Let's get certain. Here's what I know now. Okay. You guys ready? Here's what I know now. I know that you say, well, okay, Cody, Most people think you would need some downlines, am I right? You need your own, have your own agency. Okay, that's fine. Your own agency slash downlines, okay? Maybe. It could, could you do it doing that, right? Yes. Okay, cool. We've established that. You could do it this way. I know plenty of people that do. I know people that are not even 30 yet to do that. Okay. Could you... Could you do it by selling by phone? Even solo or with a team. Either way. You have your own, you do it by yourself with some openers, you do it by yourself. You have a team of, of closers, you have a full-blown call center, whatever. Can you do it selling by phone in this industry? I know plenty of people that do. So yes, the answer is true. D Dylan's giving you a better vantage point here. Thank you, buddy. So, so is that true? Like we can agree on that. You can do it that way too, right? Okay, yes. How about field sales? Can you make seven figures going out and just selling in the field? Again, either so low or with a team. Yeah, you can. I mean, I know of agents that have done seven figures by themselves selling a variety of insurance products. Any insurance product that you can think of, you can get to where you can make seven figures selling it. Everybody's always like, hey, you gotta sell this insurance product or this one, or Cody, I only sell this, or Cody, I only sell this, or, or Cody, you need to sell this. You can sell any of them. Like, any product 
This is what I know now that I didn't know then. Most people, maybe you don't know. Any product, any way. We are in such a online, digital, advertising, attention getting, trust issue, like, you know, environment in this industry. You can make seven figures any way you want, period. If you just do a few things. Obviously, there's a goal, right? That's a goal. You've got to break down the numbers. There's that one. And the third thing is, you've got to, I think that the, 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 there's four, you've got to pick a niche, and then you've got to pick a way that you're going to sell to that niche. Like, I like being, I love all the insurance products, but it's easier to succeed when you start focusing in on, on at least a type of client. Am I right? Like, they say riches are in the niches. You start to focus in. It's easier to run in your lane and be great in your lane and be the best in your lane and be the greatest in your lane in the insurance industry and then you can just keep adding on to it later. That's the four steps. If I had to give like, if we had to repurpose this video and re-put it up later as a three minute video on YouTube, four steps to earning seven figures. Have a goal. Is that the goal? Maybe it's bigger. Maybe it's eight figures. That's the next video maybe. Goal. I gotta get to eight figures first, but we'll get there. Goal, have a goal. I had a goal. You guys have a goal. Like, and, and if you don't have a goal, like that's a freaking problem. Have a goal, break down the numbers. What does it look like? It's $4,000 a day. Five, five days in a week, 4K per day. Can you make 4K today? Can you make 4K tomorrow? Can you make 4K the day after that? And then Thursday and Friday as well. Look, believe it or not, that's too, I mean, it's, it's, too, it's, it's, it's too grand every morning, too grand every, every afternoon. You can hang out with your family on the nights and weekends if you want to. 4K a day, night 20 grand a week. It just grows. But you got to know those numbers first because I'm always someone that like, backs it down. Okay, if it's 4K a day and I make about $800 per cell, right? So then there's 4,000 divided by 800. Oh, wow. I just need five cells a day. Okay. I mean, once you start breaking it down that way, that, that kind of way, not only does it make you have a goal, know your numbers, but you start to like believe in it. When I start breaking stuff down and I see the possibility and the potential and I start breaking it down, it starts to get me excited about the outcome. The potential of reaching that goal and getting to where I want to go, that starts getting me excited about it. Know your numbers. The niche. What is your niche? Like, and I'm, when I talk about niche, I'm talking like, you know, PNC, Medicare, life, final expense, you know, annuities, whatever, right? So, to, like, have a, have a product niche and like a, or even like a, or even like a niche of prospects, right? Because it's easier, it's real easy to fail if you're going after all of these different people and it's really easy to succeed if you're like, that's my audience. I'm going to be the best at getting that audience's attention and the best at converting to that audience. Okay? So niche, like think about your niche. What are you the best at? And then how are you going to sell them? Are you going to do it over the phone? Are you going to do it face to face? Are you going to do it with a team? Start to think of how am I going? What's the different ways? Like there's several different ways that we just mentioned that you can sell to that niche. What does that look like and how do you get there? That's the four steps. I mean, I always I always bring up a fifth step which is like, hey, be consistent about it, you know. 
Dude, once you once you once you have a goal and once you're focused and once you know what you need to do, it's easier to be consistent because you can see the big picture in mind of hey, I want to make seven figures. And to a lot of people, seven figures sounds way too big. It just does. And that's that was the first step. Once I started realizing that it was way easier to make seven figures than I thought, it forced me to start thinking bigger. Then I'm like, how do I go to eight figures? All right, after that, how do I go to nine figures, right? So, so it's, it's like, it's just a, it's a thinking big thing. Uh, there's a chance we do eight figures this year. If I would have been thinking so small back then, I would have never even thought it was possible. Like, I used to think I want to be a millionaire by the age of 30. Dude, I want to, like, screw that. <laughs> screw that. I want a lot more, as, as you should too. So when you're thinking about Seven figures of the insurance industry. There's a lot of people that don't think that's possible, but I'm here to tell you it is. We've, here's what I used to think. Here's what I know now. Here's the numbers, and there's the steps that can get you there. But you got to be thinking, how can I get there? And you got to be thinking about, how do I get there now? Like, you're like, oh, well, I need money to start this and do this. Well, are you, do you know you're going to succeed? Yes. Then find the money, find the cash. Like, just, oh, oh I need great people, but, but great people are hard to find then find them. Like, figure out the things that are in your way and freaking crush through them. And then you'll get those out of the way and you'll be able to get exactly where you want to go.